We are here in sunny Brisbane for QNAP's Tech Day. We're going to be finding out the latest innovations in the world of NAS. Hey guys, we are here in QNAP's Tech Day, which is a special event happening all over the world. Where QNAP is going to be telling you all about the latest features and products and all the amazingness. And today I have right here sales manager herself, Miss Bianca. So let's know what's going on. So today is our Tech Day event here in um, Brisbane, local. Yeah, and uh, this is actually our first event in Australia. We're going to have three, actually two more in Australia and one in Auckland, in okay. New Zealand. And yeah, the, the, the aim for this, of this event is to actually bring more information and details on the development of the new applications, hardware and software, uh, and the new things that we're going to release very soon, next year. Yeah. All right, so what are some of these new features coming very soon? So one of the main features that I would like to introduce to our users in Australia is a feature called BugSafe. Okay. So BugSafe is an application that's dedicated to the backup of G Suite and Office 365. From the perspective of an IT manager who's managing, let's say, an SMB, small medium businesses, and maybe they have, let's say, 50 accounts or up to 100 accounts that they have to manage. So what the um, IT manager can do is that they can basically um, set up the backup of all sides of Office 365 and G Suite in very simple setup. So that's a new thing from us. And then another side of thing is called hybrid backup thing. And there's a breakthrough in this um, app. That's why we, we want to talk about it. We provide two features to speed up the backup time. With enabling TCP PPR, the speed is five to five, uh, four to five times increase. The thing is that the app itself is not new, but we do add in a new feature, which is called um, deduplication. So the feature itself used to belong to the enterprise only, but now we slowly bring it down to SMB. So next technology is the data duplication. We call it QDD. You can see that uh, the data duplication has the best conversion rate, which is about 5 to 1 to 20 to 1. It's a new feature that no NAS vendor has ever put. Uh, World exclusive right here, deduplication. Yes. And is this specifically for the Australian market or is this worldwide? It's worldwide. Because <laughs> one thing everyone hates about Australia is NBN speeds. Uh, if you're trying no, to back up yeah. your data to the cloud, it takes forever because NBN, the rollout, has been very slow. So mm -hmm. with dedupe, I saw it 10x. 10x performance speed in uploading yep. data because it no longer has to upload everything. Yes, correct. It uploads things compressed and yes. deduped. So you're saving about a lot of, um, the demo showed there between 20, up to 20 times compression. Is that right? That's right. Up yep. to 20 times compression. Yep. We don't need NBN. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 question uh, yeah, about, uh, 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 do you know ZFS, yes, QTS uh, Hero? Yes. I want to know a little bit more about that because I saw that it improves video yeah. editing performance. Yes. Uh, to support more video editors uh, concurrent online is that uh, uh, it, with ZFS it tries, it does uh, inline compression and the inline duplication. So the way when you get to the data transmission, the data will be more compact compared to the current Linux-based and the ESD4 uh, operating system. So that's why when you use QTS Hero along in, in the NAS and then use a tool in, with a video editing editors, then you can support more concurrent uh, users. From the software side, we are going to launch a, a new, I would say a new software release called QTS Hero. So by the name Hero, it means that Yes, we're going to uh, release a um, file system that's based on ZFS. So for ZFS, it used to belong to the enterprise only. So a lot of the new technologies that we're developing today are not exactly brand new, but before it was only dedicated to the data centers and like large server businesses. So we've managed to bring it down to small, medium businesses and for home users to enjoy this benefit. So QTS Hero in short is um, Linux, uh, operating system combined with ZFS file system. Another feature with by ZFS is the right call async. So which means uh, it, the ZFS uses uh, uh, it caches the, the log 
and in the try to it try to catch the lock in the RAM and the, uh, SSDs. So it is uh, also good for more, uh, for example, more small I/O operations such as databases, online transactions. So this is also good uh, usage so for the. Will, will it be more useful because the data is more compressed? That means it can fit more data into the RAM and into the cache. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah. So we managed to bring it down to SMB level, and I think in the future we're going to have more things thrown in it. Um, so for existing QTS users, you will be able to purchase a license and upgrade your existing NAS to QTS Hero. And would you yeah. need new hardware to support ZFS? We would come up with RAM. a series of hardware that's spe specifically built for QTS Hero. Got it. But that would be, some of them would be, most of them would be based on Ryzen CPU, so that's more high end. But for those of the users with existing hardware, there's a chance for you to upgrade. You need to reinitialize everything basically. Got it. But yeah, when you get a license, we'll release a license that will help you to realize having QTS. And I've, I talked to one of your hardware product managers, product yes. managers, and he was saying that it improves video editing performance because the yes. files are going to be compressed on yes. the install and transferring. It's going to be transferring a lot less bandwidth so you can support yes. more editors at the same time. Yes. Is that right? And it's going to help out with caching because yes. the files are going to be compressed. That means you can support more files in memory yes. and support more files on your SSD cache. That's right. It's amazing. Yes. How are you doing all this stuff? What's your secret? So for QNAP, just a little bit of background story of QNAP. We are a Taiwanese company, and I'm, I myself, I'm from Taiwan. So all the all operating system, the QTS, and other operating system that we will launch in the future, all the application, actually made in Taiwan. We at the moment have around 1,500 stuffs included, and in that number, more than 50% are software engineer that's Whoa. working on building okay, that. So you can imagine okay. like 700 people working on an operating system for 15 years already. It's like a so, nightmare. Yeah, it's very <laughs> refined. You're dealing with the coding every day. Yeah. But that's the result that we can deliver. So we do have confidence in coming up with new. So one of the things that I would like to point out is that with QNAP, we're always trying new things. So you'll see a lot of new operating system, new hardware, new features coming from QNAP, almost monthly, as you can yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah. We come up with updates very often. So I think for myself, as a, I'm a user myself, it's very good to experience new things and we've managed to bring down a lot of things that's, that used to belong to like big corporations only to home user level. It's amazing ZFS on offer right here, live demonstrations over in the other rooms. We've got a bunch of NAS drives, yes. NAS units. <laughs> Actually, is it possible to, to show me some of the, the NAS units yeah, over yeah, there yeah. and maybe explain what they're yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so over in the other room, we've got a couple of NAS units on demonstration, which Bianca right here is going to be showing us how they work. So, <laughs> What we're showcasing here are some of our, from our um, home model all the way to these rack mounts. So from this is basically, as I just said, so choosing a NAS is like choosing a laptop. You have to budget first. You come up with a budget and then you can pick different types of models based on the hardware spec. So most of the software spec you can enjoy on all the models. Myself, I recommend to at least have something that's seller on above if you want to run a virtualization virtual machines on top of the NAS. So um, some of the models here, so let's start with this first model. So anything with an X stands for 10 gigabit Ethernet. So it can be an SFP bus or 10G base T. So as you can see in the back side, you will get a, a 10 gig port that provides you 10 times of the speed of a, a standard LAN network. <laughs> And yeah, of course you need um, compatible switches that can provide you with 10 gig speed. But basically, this is very good entry level 10 gig model. So within this, I'm not going to talk about price, but within this price range, this is the best that you can get with a solid hardware and 10 gig directly. So you enjoy the speed. And this is, as I said, is a very solid um, four bay model. It's very popular in Australia. It's a seller and CPU. And it comes with a cover, so more like anti-dust. Good. So you can run most of the services, a virtual machine on top of it even. And then we do have a new line of nine bay models. So the concept is that it comes with five 3.5 inch drives and four 2.5 inch. So this is a good mix of speed and cost. I put it into consideration. And do I do have a full range of rack mounts from four bay up to three, you very big one, 24 bay. 
So the biggest at the moment, let me explain. The biggest at the moment is single controller 24 bay. You can link the 24 bay with seven expansion units, 16 bay. So you can actually, you can do a calculation. Let's say we're using 16 terabyte drives. Seven times 24. Times 24 rate, first. Which rate? Which rate? Or let's say roll storage space. So just times roll. 24, yeah. So 24 times 20. 16. Yes, and then you plus seven times 16 times a you know, <laughs> that's a petabyte, yeah, more than a petabyte, raw storage. I'm not kidding. So yeah. this guy, not this guy, the no, this guy, the bigger one. The, the bigger one. Brother, a yes. petabyte of data. Yes. And that would, how much would that cost you if you tried getting that from Amazon or Google? Yes. That would cost you more than this solution, yes. right? Yes. And this can be in your in your office. In your office. Petabyte. We have a lot of customers here in Australia oh, using that already. We saw yeah. that the Sydney Film School, they use yes. systems like this. Yeah. And they love their Thunderbolt connectivity yes. as well. Yep. QNAP allows them to access the data um, easily and conveniently without any hassle. I'm very, <laughs> very impressed. I want to yeah. see what this one looks like. This looks uh, amazing. This is two and a half yes. inch. Oh, it right. is. That's three, three and a half. But you oh, can, of three course, and fit SSC inside. So. Ah, there you go. Yep. Whoa. Very solid. Metallic. Metallic. <laughs> it's time touching one of these. Yeah. <laughs> Server grade. <laughs> Server grade, yeah. It's actually not exactly server grade, it's just it provides you with a very large capacity and they are basically anything seller on abro above are hypervisors themselves. So you can install virtual machines and then you can run your own programs. Once again, thank you for your time. Thank you. So sales manager over at uh -huh. QNAP, give her a call and uh, she'll tell you this, what you just heard. <laughs> Guys, for you exclusive subscribers, whoever likes and comments in the description, you get this beautiful QNAP bag. It comes, <laughs> comes with amazingness. You get this Iron Wolf manual. You want that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You get a Seagate, some goods over there. But best of all, look at this, a bag. Woolies, Coles, Tesco's, they charge you for, for bags, right? Shopping. If only I had a QNAP bag to carry my groceries in. No more. You get QNAP exclusive bags for your milk, for your eggs, for your ham. Love it. And best of all, this. Oh, we got two, not one, two. These are official QNAP. Check it out. QNAP cables. Boom. Shaka laka. Look at this. It's got USB micro, USB C, U lightning port, and USB A. It's got everything. Amazing. Make sure you comment below. And let me know who wants to win this amazing prize. Sponsored by QNAP. <laughs> Check it out, I've got all the bags. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you get one of these amazing bags. To what, the number 100 or? Just, anyone wants it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay for postage. <laughs> I had so much fun. I have to say, people at QNAP are just awesome. I love them so much. The Q, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for having us. The Q stands for cute. They are cute, very cute. <laughs>